I promised that I would talk about why the last place I slept right before this video started was one of the scariest and mostly it was because it was my first time like really in the middle of the woods not near anybody for at least like a mile and a half in each direction which was great to feel like I wasn't gonna have my door knocked on but it was a weird feeling and as nice as it was to just like be able to step outside and pee anywhere I wanted anytime I wanted in the middle of the night I start hearing this howling, and at first I'm thinking it's wolves, but then I look it up and there aren't wolves in Maine, actually. It must have been a coyote or something. Ah! Ah! <laughs> it was a high-pitched howl, and then like, some like little barks, which I was like, maybe it's a dog, but I don't really think it was a dog. It was cool, like I felt safe in my car. Anyway, was still on the hunt for a lobster roll in Bar Harbor but very disappointed in Bahab. Just way too many people, way over expensive and super touristy. So I'm gonna try to go get a lobster roll somewhere else because I'm not waiting an hour and a half to sit at the bar. I drove up to Winter Harbor, which is still part of Acadia, but it's like an island right above uh, Mount Desert Island, which is like where everyone thinks to go. And I can't actually take credit for this. My friend Sam, who has already been living in her car long before I have um, and doing trips and stuff like that, she recommended that I go up there because it's less populated. First thing, easy to get in a restaurant and get a lobster roll. It's just a small place. Everyone knew each other in there. It was good, but I would say it's an acquired texture. I wouldn't recommend it for everyone, especially if you don't like seafood. I really liked it, but not enough to, you know, ever get a second one for 25 more dollars. Six years with this car, I never knew that my front seat goes down all the way. Maybe I would have tried this as a sleeping option. I'll try it tonight. Don't do it. Don't. Her recommendation from the bartender, he said to go just drive around and check out these like houses and mansions by the sea. They were all super spread apart. So if you have like a house, you basically have like at least an acre of land, it looks like. All the houses seem like they should be by the sea. They have the old paneling and like the washed out wood kind of look. Some of them were really nice and taken care of and some of them looked abandoned, but even more cool that way almost. I think I might be just driving straight into the ocean. Winter Harbor was not struck by the fires that struck Mount Desert Island a while ago and that means that the trees are still full and lush and all that. It's kind of hard for me to tell what was an actual turn on the road and what was someone's driveway. Sorry, mate. One of the more popular hikes is to the peak of this mountain. I don't remember. Just put it in. But I drove to where Google Maps said the start of the trail was, ended up at the top of the mountain instead of at the bottom. <laughs> okay, good enough for me. I started the trail and hiked down a little bit. I did not hike the whole thing because honestly, I already saw the reward, which was like the peak view. So it was harder for me to have motivation to complete. My grandma on my dad's side was named Ruta. And when my sisters and I were younger and would go on hikes with our parents, if a root tripped us, we'd be like, Nana trip me. And we thought that that was the pinnacle of comedic genius. Yeah, like those. People have caught me planting and objectifying those mushrooms. So I gotta get it. For the sunset, there's one one way drive that kind of goes around the perimeter of um, Winter Harbor, the Acadia National Park part of it. It's gorgeous. It, is just as pretty as Bar Harbor, but way less people. I was able to pull over at this little cliff side looking, like, like bluffs jutting out from the roadway. And that was actually a really special place to me. I think it was one of my favorite parts of the whole trip. Definitely the most peaceful. You guys probably can't hear it, but there's this really distant bell going off. It's really haunting and beautiful at the same time.
I did capture sound and video the whole time I was there, or at least I tried to, so you can see that there. I just had the best time. Winter Harbor is fantastic. I just felt stressed in Bar Harbor. However, even though I do recommend Winter Harbor over Bar Harbor if you're going during busy times, I still went back and did like the popular trails in Bar Harbor, so that will be in the next video. It's still beautiful. It's Acadia. I'm not trying to shit on it. I'll be uploading an overview, like fun facts and weird laws for New Hampshire as my next video, and then I'll be doing stuff about finding spots to sleep on the famous app iOverlander. It's what most of the nomadic peoples use, and um, yeah, stick around.